You spend years of your life in a world built entirely by your mind, where you can fly, breathe underwater, and talk to people who are long gone. This isn't science fiction. This is your life on dreams. Every night, you plug into the most powerful virtual reality generator on Earth, your brain. We often dismiss dreams as mental fluff, but what if they are one of the most important things your brain does? We're going behind the scenes to explore the neuroscience of what's happening inside your head while you sleep. Section 1. The Biology of a Dream So, what is a dream? Dreams are the stories and images our minds create while we sleep. We have several a night, but forget 95% of them. For centuries, we saw them as messages or hidden desires, but that was all interpretation. The real breakthrough came in 1953, when scientists discovered rapid eye movement, or REM sleep. When they woke people up during this phase, they reported vivid, store-like dreams. Scientists had found the biological home of dreaming. Section 2. The Brain's Control Room During REM sleep, your brain looks almost identical to when you're awake, but your body is paralyzed to keep you from acting out your dreams. This led to the activation synthesis theory. Dreams are just your brain trying to make a story out of random signals fired from your brainstem. This explains why dreams are so weird. Your emotional center, the amygdala, is highly active, making dreams feel intense. But the prefrontal cortex, your logic center, is partially offline. That's why you can have tea with your long-dead grandmother and not question it. You have a brain firing random signals, an emotional center on high alert, and a logic center that's taking the night off. That is the cocktail for a dream. Section 3. The Purpose of the Dream So why does the brain do this? Evidence suggests dreaming is a vital feature. One theory is that it's a form of overnight therapy. The brain reprocesses emotional memories, but without the usual stress chemicals, helping to soothe psychological wounds. Dreaming is also crucial for memory and creativity. It doesn't just store memories, it connects new experiences with old ones. With your logic filter off, your brain makes surprising connections, which is why so many breakthroughs, from the periodic table to Paul McCartney's yesterday, have come from dreams. Section 4. Nightmares and Lucid Dreaming Of course, the dream theater can also become a house of horrors. Nightmares are often a reflection of your waking life anxieties. But what if you could become aware you're dreaming and take control? This is the scientifically proven phenomenon of lucid dreaming. In a lucid dream, the logical part of your brain reactivates. You realize you're in a dream and can start to influence it. This is now being explored as a powerful tool for treating recurrent nightmares, allowing the dreamer to face their fears and change the outcome.